Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some of the added features in 425 for mesh editing. First, we are going to go to the plugin browser and then enable modeling tools editor mode. After enabling the plugin, once you restart the editor, you're going to look for the new modes panel, which is now a button on the top bar of the editor. Remember, because this is a preview build of the engine, any of this could change before the final release. With this update, we're getting a cleaner and more organized version of mesh editing. Here I'm just playing around with some of the new content that is now under create. We have a few options here from selecting from brushes, all the way to selecting the type of way we make new assets. The l amount of primitives, as well as the types of way we can utilize them has changed as well. And now on to the new transform tools. A lot of these are self-explanatory. Um, they transform, align. You can select faces on a mesh. Uh, you can edit its pivot. You can watch me fail to edit its pivot right here. Uh, you can also uh, bake its X-form data or combine meshes with this screen. And now I actually went back and went to the Create tab to use the Voxel Merge tool. This tool was already in 424, but it, you're able to use it to select more than one mesh and you, use Voxel Remeshing to combine them. Now I'm doing all of this so that we can go to our third tab, the new Deform tab. Under Deform, we can find the Sculpting tools as well as the Slice tool as well as some new ones. I'm just going to speed up some of this sculpting because it's just me failing to make a box. Okay, and now here is the slice tool, officially called uh, the plane cut. So you can actually use this to just kind of cut any mesh. And remember, this isn't just meshes that we create with this mesh tool, but any mesh in your game, but it will be applied to that static mesh. And now for some new stuff. This is called poly cut. It is next to plain cut, but we can use any primitive to create a cut into the mesh. I'm gonna speed this part up a little bit, uh, but I'm also gonna be playing with the smooth displays and new space to form tools. I feel for these tools, you kind of just need to use them yourself and you can kind of see what they could be useful for. Lastly, I'm gonna hit that remesh button uh, that is on this tab as well as some others, just to simplify this mesh. All right, and now on to one of the last tabs. This is triangles. You can do a lot of the same stuff we've been doing, but you can edit the mesh in finer detail here. Uh, one thing that really stands out here is this edit mat to edit the material assigned to your mesh. And now the last thing I'm gonna cover today is the UV slash normals tab. Under this, there are um, ways to assign and auto unwrap your mesh. Uh, under here as well are the UV projection tools, as well as some n normal tools if you want to, say, flip your normals on your mesh in the editor instead of re-exporting it. Some of you guys might have noticed that I didn't touch the polygroups or prototypes tabs, and that's because currently I was having a lot of issues with those groups crashing the editor, uh, but polygroups is a good way to group your mesh, and then the prototypes has some stuff that I'm not sure of. I just kind of wanted to do a broad overview just in case there are changes in the final build. I hope you go and check out this tool yourself now. 
uh, and have a good day, guys. If you do have any questions, feel free to join my Discord or watch a Twitch stream. Uh, links will be in the video description below. Thank you. If you guys want more videos like this, just hit that follow button uh, and hopefully I'll be coming out with more.